today's gonna be a sad day. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm just gonna fill you guys in real quick. A couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, not even a couple months ago, one month ago or a couple weeks ago, I don't, I don't even know when, it's been a while already. Um, I got pulled over for speeding. I was going 95 on a 65, um, but the officer wrote me up for tinted windows and the banner that I have, the embrace banner that I have. So I was trying to get one of my friends that works for that agency to sign my ticket, but unfortunately he couldn't sign it. I actually have to go to the station and get it signed off. So what I have to do today is I gotta remove the tint, take off the banner, and then go get my ticket signed off at that agency. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. That's what I have to get done today so I can get the ticket paid off because the deadline's coming up real quick. Um, so I'm gonna get this done, get it over with, and get and get it signed off, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, it's kind of sad, but once right now, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the tin off, go get it signed off, and then right after there, we're gonna go get my windows tinted again. Um, I went yesterday to go check how much it was gonna cost, and it cost like eighty dollars, so it's not that bad. So that's what I'm doing right now, just taking off the tint, just taking off the banner, cause I have to, not cause I want to, cause I have. To. So I've never removed tint before, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy, self-explanatory. Just gotta heat up the surface. And then once you heat up the surface, just start peeling back the film, uh, starting from this edge all the way down. Start heating it up, keep heating it up as you pull the sheet. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. And then of course, uh, after you pull off the tin, it's gonna leave some adhesive on on the backing. Um, so all you would have to do is just take off all that adhesive and it's pretty much simple, pretty much easy. Um, I've never removed tin before, but this will be my first time doing it. But like I said, it's self-explanatory. Um, so let's just start taking it off. So I got the tint film taken off and I think this tint film is like high quality because it was really easy to take off and didn't really leave that much uh, residue on the windshield. It was like no residue at all. So this tint, whoever put this tint on, because when I bought the car, it already came with this tint. Whoever put it on did an excellent job, used some excellent quality tint. Hopefully when I'm taking it today, they use the same quality tint as this. So now we're done with this one. We're just gonna start doing it on the other one and we should be done and then we'll just head to the agency to go get the ticket signed off and also as you guys can tell this tint isn't really that bad uh when i took it yesterday they told me it was a 50 percent tint which isn't really that bad um but like i said they pulled me over for speeding uh, and they just wanted to write me up for something so the tint had to go i'm trying to compare the two this one's the one that tint list the one we already took off and it looked exactly like if this one was to be put on uh, it doesn't really look that bad now let's look at the other side and it's gonna look exactly the same thing watch Look, it looks exactly the same thing, except for brighter reflection over here. But it kind of looks exactly the same thing. It's crazy. Look at this. <laughs> it doesn't really look that bad. Look at that. It looks exactly the same. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, here's a better view at it. This one has been taken off. This one hasn't. The one right here. And this one does a little, look a little bit darker and this one looks a lot lighter but that's because of the sun reflecting from the back and this one has no sun reflecting from the back um, but it practically looks exactly the same thing look at that it's crazy i guess i, I think I'm, I'm thinking about going a little bit darker i might go a little bit darker So I got the windshields done already, as you guys can tell, it looks really nice and clean. Both of them are done. Now, the last thing to do is take off the embrace banner, which I don't want to, but we'll, we'll, we'll replace it one day. We'll replace it with an even better one.
So I got the tent off, I got the windshield banner off, and I feel so naked in here, I don't know why. The windows don't really look that bad compared to when I had the tent, so I'm thinking about going a little bit darker, but that's after we go get the ticket signed off. So that's where I'm heading right now, I'm going to the agency to get my ticket signed off, but I feel so naked in here, I don't know why, I feel so naked. Look at the windshield, you can see everything. I used to just be able to see like just a little bit, which is mostly everything that I need to see, because I mean, why do I need to look up? I don't need to see the airplanes, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Also, I'm a little bit scared because I feel like they might tell me something about the steering wheel this time since it's actually someone right there at the agency right there talking to me about the windshield and everything that needs to get if I got it everything done so I'm kind of scared hopefully they don't really make it a big deal about my steering wheel let's let's just hope because I don't want to really take off my steering wheel and put my old one back on so let's start heading over to the agency let's go get this ticket done let's go get it done okay I take it all back because just with the sun hitting me right here I feel super hot now I don't know if it's just because, I mean, it's not even that hot today, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it was better with the tan. It was way better with the tan. I guess just seeing it with the eye, um, it looks exactly the same thing, but now actually being in it and driving it, like, the sun is burning me right now. The sun is freaking killing me. Let's, let's go put some tin on this. So that was a big fail. They close on Saturdays and Sundays, so they're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, I think it was. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to come back till Monday. That kinda, that kinda sucks, cause, what the heck, stop falling off. That kinda sucks. That kinda sucks, cause, I mean, I took off the tent already. I'm tentless, I can't go tent my car right now. I have to be like this today, Saturday and Sunday and try and get out of work early or something and go get it done um and go get it done so this kind of sucks if i would have known that they didn't open saturdays or sunday i probably would have not even taken off the tent i probably would have waited till sunday sunday night taking it off at night and then on monday morning or monday afternoon i would go to the agency and go get it signed off with but now look at i'm freaking burning up but oh well so right now i'm just gonna head to uh home depot i want to go pick up some fire or one fire extinguisher a small one so i can fit inside my car because i've been thinking about this for a long time i've been wanting to keep a fire extinguisher inside my car from the last time uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a while one of the rocket bunny videos i was welding something on the fender well and well my dad was welding something on the fender well and it actually caught on fire and it started burning under the fender well so after that i've been wanting to get a fire extinguisher just to keep inside the car so that's what i'm gonna go do at home depot we're gonna we're probably gonna install the fire extinguisher today so that's what i'm gonna go do right now i'm gonna go pick one up because uh, i know there's different types but i just want to get a small one hopefully they have one there at home depot if not i'll probably check pet boys pet boys is like right here so i'm probably gonna check pet boys first if they don't have one i'll go to home depot nah let's go to home depot let's go to home depot now where will we find an extinguisher here we go here we go small little one kitchen that's a slow small one 20 bucks 40 bucks <laughs> imagine putting one of these in the tc that's gonna be huge they have this one this one's the smallest one they have damn and i think it's still huge this would be too big to put on the tc i think it would and, and it feels too heavy too just want like a small little one and they don't have any other ones but this one's the smallest one so I'm gonna go check AutoZone and go check another automotive store instead of Home Depot because I'm pretty sure Home Depot has only these big ones. So let's go check on an automotive store. Maybe they have those small ones. I knew I should have came to Pet Boys first. So I ended up picking up this fire extinguisher. It's super small. I'll show you guys when I get home. But it's it looks really good. It's a lot smaller than any other thing that we saw. So now since I'm home and I'm just waiting for that to dry, might as well, we're gonna start installing the fire extinguisher. I wanna get it somewhere. I wanted to get it right here on the side, but I'm thinking maybe just put it under the footwell right here. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. So let's just take this bad boy out. And like I said, this was the only place, I only found it at Pet Boys. This one, this exact one, I found it at Pet Boys. Um, this one's made for automotive use, like for your car. And this is the smallest one that I found. Um, I didn't check AutoZone or anything like that. This I just went straight to Pet Boys. Well, from from Home Depot to Pet Boys, and I found this one. So this one, you would attach it either from the bottom up or on the side like this, somewhere right here, or somewhere down there. 
which I'm thinking is gonna make more sense if I put it somewhere right there. So I think that's where we're gonna put it. I need to see how we're gonna install this. I think on these holes that are right here, we have to take this piece off and then just drill this black piece onto here first and then you put the fire extinguisher on there so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna disassemble everything Ugh, that piece and then the other piece as well so for the scion tc it has this cover right here as you guys can tell let me see you try to pop this off you can pull it there and then pull it over here and this black piece this black cover piece comes off and i'm pulling on this right here and it feels like it's gonna be sturdy enough to mount this onto here that way i don't have to mount it somewhere up here and it's going to cover the footwell light so we're going to try and mount it on this piece but i want to try and get it as much on this side as possible most likely i'm thinking about right there so it's kind of tucked away back there somewhere where you can't even see so it looks good about right there so i think that's where we're going to mount it i'm just going to take this cover piece off and that way i don't have to wait oh there we go so i'm going to mount it somewhere on this piece right here so i want to attach as close as possible to this side so we're going to put it somewhere like right there it's a good thing that the science tc just comes with this cover piece because we can just remove this cover piece and attach it to this and then put this back on here and then attach everything together simple easy but i mean if you guys don't have this cover piece you're gonna have to just drill into something down here wherever it's easy wherever you're not gonna drill through wires anything that can be hazardous or anything like that i wouldn't recommend you drill through there it just depends the type of car you drive and the type of place you want to set it up because i've seen i mean there's people that put it under there under on the side under their seat um but i don't really want to put it anywhere right there or under the seat now because since i am going to be replacing these seats i don't want anything to do with right here because i'm not sure where i want to position the seats permanently because i know they're not going to be reclinable seats um i i think they're not gonna be reclinable seats from what i want right now so that's the best option okay so i think it's gonna go right there about right there so we're just gonna mark the holes where it needs to be and then we'll just drill those holes right there so simple as that it's already ready to go we just gotta put it back in place. Now the only problem is, hopefully it's not a problem, but will it withstand the weight? Uh, can't get it. So that was a fail. <laughs> Let's try it this way. Ah, uh, finally. All right, take two. I attached it to this piece. Now let's see if it's gonna withstand the weight. Seems like it is. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe it is. I just, now the only problem is is it gonna be shaking a lot? It's gonna be making a lot of noise? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out once I start driving the car a lot more and seeing if it does. If it does, then we're gonna attach it to like a sturdier piece because the cover, as you guys can tell, look at that. But I mean, it goes back up. But for now, that's where it's gonna stay. And it looks so beautiful. Look at that. Woo, look at that. Let me see if it. Uh, yeah, not, no problem. Look. Still got feet room. So I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video, guys. I wanted to get the ticket signed off and get ready for the week so I can get it paid off already. But unfortunately, it was closed. I didn't get to do that. And I was planning on getting my windows tinted, which I didn't end up getting them tinted since I couldn't get the ticket signed. So, such a bad day. Oh, I mean, it was a good day, but I mean, I couldn't get what I wanted to get done, done, you know? But we did get the fire extinguisher put on here, but we didn't get as much done as I would want to. But I think that's where I'm gonna end today's video, guys. I'm gonna continue working on the other video with the bumper lip and all that carbon fiber goodness. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video, guys. I hope you guys have had an awesome day or having an awesome day. And I'll just catch you guys on the next one, guys. Peace out and embrace yourself.
So for those of you that stay to the end of this video, I have a small little surprise for you guys. I wanted to show you guys at least. As you guys know, in today's video, we removed the Embrace banner that I had, but we did add a new addition, well, new sticker addition to the car. It's here to stay for a while, so here it is. Look at that. Yeah, and it's on that oil slick. Look at that. 